hello you guys and welcome back to my channel today we are doing a full in-depth base routine as a celebrity makeup artist i have been a professional makeup artist officially for a year i've been doing makeup here and there throughout my whole life i am now 22 years old but within like the past year i went to a makeup academy where i was taught the business and makeup aspect of everything and give them a shout out because i love them and that's like my home away from home artist makeup academy in rawway new jersey i love you anyway that is where i went to school and then about six months no like four to six months after that i landed my first celebrity client my only celebrity client for now but it's only been a year okay so shh we're, we're gonna get there we're gonna build that portfolio of having that celebrity clientele okay but i am a celebrity makeup artist so if you would like to learn some tips and tricks from me then keep on watching because i dropped some hidden gems okay some good tips and tricks okay and it's kind of killing me to keep it in here because it's like those are my tricks those are my tips but I'm not gonna gatekeep around here okay I'm not gonna gatekeep you're gonna learn how to do your own makeup on yourself the way a celebrity makeup artist would and yeah so like I said again if you want to learn how to achieve a perfect flawless base then keep on watching <laughs> Okay, so first and foremost, I don't always go in with a primer, but today I feel like using one and e.l.f. like e.l.f. Power Grip Primer is just too good. It is a total dupe for the Milk Makeup Hydrating, what is it called? Hydro Grip, I think it is. I don't really know, um, but it's so good. Literally leaves your face super, super like tacky you can literally see my fingers they're like get stuck to my skin i do have more on like the drier skin so i do like to go in with more hydrating foundations and concealers and stuff like that so you might notice that throughout the video but overall we're going for full coverage today so there's gonna be powders you know we're powdering up you always want to layer your stuff I'm not gonna do too much on my eyes if I was going for more of like an eye look today I would have probably done my eyes first but since I'm not I'm just gonna go right in with foundation and this one is the elf camo hydrating CC cream full coverage long-lasting dewy finish that's all I need to hear okay and I'm sold so I'm gonna use this one and it's in the shade light to 10 n we're just gonna take a few pumps on the back of my hand also, if you couldn't tell, my neck is a different color than my face because I self-tanned my body, but I don't do my face. It's because I have like acne-prone skin and I get scared. So I'm just going right in with the Beauty Blender and we're just going to blend and I go right onto the face. I love this foundation because it feels super lightweight, but yet it has that full coverage that I love. And depending on the day, I will use a brush or a sponge. It really just depends on my mood. This is not like a get ready with me headband. And I just got foundation all over my headband. <sighs> a little key tip. Um, when you're doing your foundation, don't apply it underneath your eyes. Because you're going in with concealer. And there's no need if you're going to use a full coverage concealer to go in with foundation first that's just either going to cause like creasing or dryness that's just unnecessary so i always avoid like my under eye okay now we're gonna go in with concealer this is the one from kylie cosmetics it is their power plush Longwear concealer so again i want to go in with something that's a little more medium to full coverage um and i'm taking this right underneath my eye and i love a super bright under eye so this one is pretty light and this is in the shade 2C. Placement is very, very important when it comes to concealer. You can see I'm placing it all on the points where I want to lift my face and sculpt. I'm lifting my eyes. I'm lifting the corners of my mouth. A lot of the times, people's mouths, and this is just like natural, the corners of their mouth goes down. So when you add that concealer going upwards, it's going to create the illusion that you are lifting instead of 
dragging you know what i mean and i'm just gonna go in with like a little it's not really a concealer brush necessarily it's more of a fluffy angled brush but i like to diffuse with one of these and then i'll go in with my beauty blender over top and you want to be very strategic when you're blending out your concealer because you want to keep it in the spot that you put it okay you don't want to go crazy blending and moving your products all over the place. You don't want your concealer to be down your jaw. You want it to stay in the center of your chin. So you just do stippling motions. Now once I diffuse um, my concealer as much as I like, I'll just go in with my beauty blender and do the rest of the blending. Now once I'm happy with how my concealer is looking, we're going to go in with some bronzer. This is the Patrick Ta bronzer and she's bronzed. And I'm going to use the cream part of it. And I'm just taking it on like this little flat brush. And before going on to the face directly, I'll take it on the back of my hand and kind of just get any of that like extra off because once you go right to that face it's going to be pigmented you're going to be stuck there unless you know how to actually fix it so i always recommend dabbing off some of it on the back of your hand and then going onto the face so we are going to go right on that cheekbone and you notice how i took the brush and directly went here and didn't start here that's because that first dip onto your face is where the most product is going to be placed so you don't want to place most of your product here closer into your face you want to place it on the outsides another thing i always do is take my cream bronzer underneath that brow bone on my eyelid to create that definition i really should not have worn a white headband Ugh. we are looking snatched and bronzed okay now for like one of my favorite parts in this whole routine blush i absolutely love the say blushes they're so good they are to die for i have like five of them they're amazing um this one is in the shade chili and i actually put this on the back of my hand i don't directly go to the face and you can see i still have my foundation here i have some concealer here i have some bronzer here we're just gonna apply this right over that bronzer and you might be asking why why would you do that why would you mix your blush and your bronzer let me tell you okay I'm even gonna go in with the same brush I use for my bronzer and we're going to go right into that blush and I'm gonna go right onto the face and doing this is going to ensure that you have a seamless blend between the concealer between the blush and the bronzer it's going to melt everything together this way you have no harsh lines of demarcation in your makeup Honestly, I should be charging you guys for this because I'm dropping gems. I'm literally dropping gems on you guys today. Like the Say blushes are stunning. Oh my gosh. This is one of like my favorite shades too. Next step is also one of my faves. I cannot lie. Adding powder just gives you that filtered look. It literally blurs everything away. And of course, we're going in with the Huda. Huda Beauty okay these powders are amazing this is her newer one the peachy pie one I only got the mini one for myself because I wanted to see how it works how it looks on my skin I only use it if I have a tan if I like self tanned or something because if not like I am just too pale I would look crazy if I use this powder without being tan so we're gonna use it today I'm just gonna take my sponge and blend under my eyes to blend any creases that I have and then going in with some powder on my little triangle sponge and going to press this into my skin like you cannot tell me that it doesn't look like there's a filter on my skin right now powders make all the difference a lot of people are afraid of powders I am NOT I love a powder which is kind of crazy because i do have you know dry skin if you just properly like know how to work a powder and what products to use underneath your powders and even on top of your powders like could also fall in love okay now we're gonna go in with the powder of the patrick ta and she's bronzed i think yes she's bronzed 
and I'm just taking a fluffy, kind of fluffy, yeah, it's fluffy, angled brush. So we're going to get a bunch on our brush, okay? We're going to tap her off because we don't want all that product just going on, and that's when things start to get muddy and just... It just won't look good okay and we're gonna start closest to our hairline because that's where we want the most product and the most definition and honestly I stipple this as well for my bronzer I'm not really like a swiping motion type of girl I really like to stipple all my products into my skin going into that crease underneath my brow that's also going to be my eyeshadow. And now after we've bronzed the face with the powder bronzer, we're going to go back in with the loose powder. And we're just going to take some on our sponge or on our little triangle puff. And we're going to go right underneath that bronzer to really to sharpen that line up a little bit and really create that definition. Now while that powder kind of sits and bakes if you will we're gonna go back in with my say blush the same one as before and we're gonna go back in with the same brush as before as well and this is when people do get scared because it's like okay why are you putting a cream over powder like you were always taught creams don't go over powders once the powders are on that's it like you're set that's not the case okay they lie to you makeup has no rules listen up so going right back in okay and we're gonna go right on top of that powder with your blush. I love a cream blush because I still like to be glowy and I still like for it to look like skin even though it's really not because I have a literal full face on right now but I still like for that natural glow to shine and to like come through and adding this blush back onto my skin over the powders brings back that skin like glow it doesn't look like I have highlighter on it looks like I'm just glowing but it's really the blush okay it's gorgeous I mean look now going back in with my little brush that I use for my bronzer and I'm just gonna wipe away lightly that baking powder that I left on I'm going to quickly finish my brows and my lashes and my lip off camera and then I'll be back and we'll set the face and yeah that's really it if you wanted to add highlighter at this point you could but like I said from doing that dewy blush over top of that powder it brings that glow back where you don't even need highlighter okay you can skip a whole step and yeah you're done with the base it's it's flawless it's gorgeous it's stunning we're filtered on up we don't even need no real filter okay we are the filter brows lashes and lip is done we are complete now all we have to do is set the face this is my favorite favorite setting please hold this is my favorite setting spray it is the morphe continuous setting spray honestly it's like almost empty but it's okay it is empty we're going to go in with the Charlotte Tilbury now since my Morphe is empty. Okay, so this completes my full base routine as a professional makeup artist. You want to know what's crazy? This isn't even my routine for when I do my clients. Obviously, every client is different with like their face structures, so I have to do different things for them. But even like coverage wise and placement wise is totally different like I could do this full face in like 10 minutes but when I'm with a client I'm like an hour in like finishing up you know what I mean so this definitely isn't how I do my clients makeup maybe I can make a whole different video if you guys want to see that and like I'll take you guys along with me on a day where I have a client or two or three whatever and I can show you guys like a little BTS but this is what I do for myself when I want to do like a full coverage type of glam and yeah let me know down below if you guys learned anything because honestly I dropped some good in here okay that I should charge for because these are hidden secrets hidden tips and tricks that has helped me over the years well over like the past year of being a celebrity makeup artist so yeah make sure you like comment subscribe do all the things you gotta do and i'll see you in next week's video bye